Thanks for tuning in to Dirty Teeth and welcome back to the channel. With spring around the corner, Salsa just announced an update for their popular gravel bike, the Storm Chaser. It was previously available as a single speed with a rigid fork or as a frame set only. But for 2022, they're adding a geared option to the lineup. Salsa is calling this model the Storm Chaser GRX 1xSus. Sus. Notable additions are a 1x11 drivetrain, a short travel suspension fork, and a dropper seat post. On paper, it has the makings for a plush riding, gravel, and mixed media bike. So here's the specs. Off the bat, let's discuss what hasn't changed between this version and the single speed. It features the same aluminum alloy frame with Salsa's class five vibration reduction system. This means it's optimized to be flexy where it'll help soak up the chatter while maintaining stiffness and solid power transfer where you need it. The geometry is similar to the top of the line Warbird. The assumption is you'll be putting in big days and fast miles on B roads and suspect surfaces. Maximizing comfort and minimizing fatigue on a stable platform are the goals for this rig. It still includes alternator flat mount dropouts with 15 millimeters of adjustment. So the option to convert over to single speed is still there. As the name implies, it's at home when the weather turns sideways. It has 40% more tire clearance than the Warbird, so when mud starts turning into that goopy peanut butter, you have a fighting chance. Max tire size is 700 by 50C or 650B by 50C. So many options. There's internal cable routing with tubes, so it simps to slide cables and housing through with no drama. In terms of mounts, it can accommodate front and rear racks for touring and bikepacking. It can also support full coverage fenders. Depending on frame size, there's two or three bottle mounts in the main triangle. There's also a mount on the bottom of the down tube and one on the top tube to accommodate bolt-on bags and other accessories. The main triangle is pretty big and will accommodate a high volume frame bag if you go that route. All right, so all of that's old news. What we really wanna know is what's different. Starting with the color, the GRX build is offered in black while the single speed version is still red. You can still get the frame set in black, but it's only offered with the rigid fork. I'll discuss the new fork in a sec. The big difference, of course, is the price tag. For reference, MSRP on the frame set with rigid fork is $12.99. The single speed build is priced at a very respectable $17.99. The new GRX suspension build comes in at $34.99. If you're bad at math, that's $1,700 more or almost double the price of the single speed. The cat's out of the bag, so what do we get for the extra $1,700? The Storm Chaser carbon fork is out and in slides the RockShox Rudy. This is the Explore model with 40 millimeters or roughly an inch and a half of plush air suspension. Plenty to take the sting out of washboards and bumpy gravel roads. If you're curious, the Rudy weighs around 1,300 grams. That's pretty close to double the weight of the rigid fork. Unfortunately, you'll also lose the three pack mounts for cargo cages or water bottles. From what I hear, the tapered legs on the Rudy make it pretty hard to mount anything on them without slipping. Just throwing that out there in case you have long distance bikepacking plans for this bike. Also out is the 27.2 Salsa Guide seat post. It's replaced with a Trans-X YSP38 dropper post. It's 360 millimeters long, has 90 millimeters of travel, and weighs about 490 grams. If you haven't heard of Trans-X, neither had I. They've quietly been in business since 1992, specializing mostly in OEM parts. They just recently started selling their own brand direct to consumers. I have no experience with their products, but they appear to be reputable and reliable, or I'm sure Salsa wouldn't deal with them. The wheels on this bike are slightly wider than the single speed. Instead of WTB Sarah's with I-23 rims, the GRX build is spec'd with I-25 rims. These are mated to Shimano center lock hubs and rotors. To complement the slightly wider rims, the Terravel Rutland 42 mm tires have been replaced with 47 mm versions. Shimano GRX levers and brakes are a nice upgrade from the TRP models spec'd on the single speed. The left brake lever also handles dropper post actuation, which is pretty trick. The crank set is exactly the same as on the single speed. It's a race face ride with a 38 tooth direct mount chain ring. Rounding out the drivetrain is a GRX 11 speed derailleur with an SLX 1142 cassette. All in all, this bike features a clean and thoughtful middle of the road build. It's hard to swallow a price tag that's almost double its single speed counterpart, but when you factor in all the component upgrades, it's pretty fair. If you're looking for a fun gravel machine that's gonna keep you comfy on epic days through harsh terrain and iffy weather, this has to be a contender. But I've gotta point out, you can get a carbon cutthroat GRX 600 complete build for the same price of $34.99, or a carbon Warbird GRX 600 for $32.99. So if this Storm Chaser is in your price range, but a lighter carbon bike sounds tastier, you might wanna give those some attention. But you'll lose the dropper post and squishy fork. Anyway, there you have it. The spanking new Salsa GRX 810 1x Sus gravel bike. Whether you're scoping out a potential new bike or just curious, I hope you found this video useful. If so, please give us a like. I'd also love to read any of your thoughts or questions in the comments below. I upload fresh bike packing and mountain biking content every week, so please consider subscribing to the channel and tapping the notification bell. I also hope you'll think about joining our Trail Magic Monday campaign of giving on Patreon. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.
Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.